Tell us, Fengard, what is best for a dwarf? To take their metals, to see their beer stores open before you, and to hear the lamentation of elven death cries. Rock and Stone Brothers! That's the best joke you're getting out of me all day. All right, back to Path of the Righteous. It has been a long time. Uh, considering I played it, you know, for like two months straight and then a week straight uh, after a shorter break. I needed a longer break from it. So, here we is, here we are's, back again. And I don't remember where we were. Ah, uh, yes, we were raiding the tower where all the mythic fuckers were coming from. And soon, there won't be any mythic fuckers coming from it. Also, why the hell ain't it capturing? Where's my Wrath of the Wath? Minecraft, Warhammer, Seven Days to Die, King's Day, Hattie Times, 
Rise to ruins. King under the mountain. Does that game have an update yet? King under the mountain. I still have it installed. There has been a consistent patch like every day, except and then it all stopped in February. Here's hoping that was a cool game. It had potential. Bring my Pathfinder a little. Pit my Habsburg. No, oh, we're too far back. Sad elf clown. There he is. Total War 3. Dungeon Rockenstone. Where the fuck? Oh. Okay. Why? Why is it capturing now? I literally didn't turn anything on. It just turned on itself. We have Ich for Cyberp. There's Pathfinger. I need to play more Cyberp. Although I can never figure out, I, I like never can think of anything to say when I play Cyberpunk 2077. Like, it's a good game and I enjoy it, but I'm just like sitting there going <laughs> and making car noises and that's all I can think of for commentary. <clears throat> Answer my question, Beardless. How dare you? How dare you be so right yet so insulting? What kind of simp or soy boy worships Nurgle? Well, you see, they're already so hyper fedora wearing, can't grow like a, a good chin neck beard incel that they just go whole hog into it. It's like, if I'm already a fat, disgusting fucking slob that is functionally unfuckable, I'll just convert all of my fuckable, like, internal organs that I need to bang into, like, nerglings. And then they'll love me, and at least I'll have children then. Or something I can call my children. Will they technically be your children? Because if nerglings grow from your internal organs rotting out of yourself, technically... Technically, they're your babies? In a manner of speaking? Ooh, that's a fancy villain turn. I don't know what it was behind this door, or if we had any hint at was was behind this door, or if just going behind the door. Like they carry your DNA, I suppose. Disciple of Xanthir, out of my way! A cultist wearing a desk right robe clenches his fist and glares at the servants of Baphomet, blocking his path. The enemy is at the gates. You must release the specimens. That is a direct order from Xanthir, the plagued one. Hear that? A woman in the mirror, decorated with an ox head emblem, laughs disdainfully. Her fellow believers echo her mocking laughter. I like how she's a follower of Jerabeth. Jerabeth is very dead. I don't like what's in there. That thing's all crusty and crystally. Xanther the Plagued One gave us an order, a direct order. He said that to you, did he? You open it then. Go on, I won't stop you over the cage. We'll stand back and watch with the beast bite your locust filled head off. Now is the time for your petty grievances. I made myself clear the first time. We have been invaded. The enemies are inside the ivory sanctum. They'll be here at any moment. I, I am here. The enemies have been here for a long time already. The Templar barks and the cultist steps back in surprise. You, you came to our ivory sanctum, setting yourself up as the master, sullying the place with your experiments. Do you know what room this used to be? A hall of converts, a monument to our greatest victories. The portraits of former enemies who switched to Lord Baphomet's side used to hang here. We kept their armor and corrupted the symbols of pitifully godlings, but your Xanther and... Xanther the syphilitic one ordered all to be put into storage and built this place into a zoo. No longer do we have the sanctum of Woolalo, and I am sad. Oh, I wish I had the trickster path. I don't think I've gotten any Azada path stuff yet, unless it just doesn't show it. Like, if it requires it, you know it requires it. If it doesn't require it, it just shows up as chaotic, specific, well, whatever the fuck that would say. There will be no sanctum left if the Crusaders... Stop! The frightened cultist points at you in the eyes of everyone present are turning direction. Who goes there? I don't think I've seen you here before. Uh... One of those wretched creatures in the cave. The latest pet project of Xanthir the Puxed One and his cack-headed... Cack... His cock-headed students. <laughs> They have worked out how to transfer demons properly, yet half of them end up as freaks, and we're not even allowed to kill them. The locust in the cloak said to keep them in cages so he can use them in his idiotic experiments. The only idiots here are you. Pathetic lapdogs and that airhead 
of that airhead schemer you call a mistress. These experiments are necessary for understanding the entire process, for creating a perfect demon of the future. Without them, hey, hold on, why would we tell you all this? Who are you, anyways? You're not a crusader, are we? Oh, come on, keep monologuing. How can you call experiments idiotic? Oh, God, I forgot we have the nerd. At worst, they're unsuccessful. Do you know how many seemingly irrational experiments have led to scientific breakthroughs? Precisely because most ordinary people wrote them off as failures in advance, and no one even bothered to conduct them. Delintatis. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. Who are you called a delintatis? Cut your heart out and eat it before it stops beating. That is factually incorrect, my eager report of virtual gentleman of anatomy. It is impossible to cut out a heart and still keep it beating. If wish to consume a beating heart, you'll have to do so while it's still inside the victim's body. Actually, I hate her so, so very much. That's interesting. Hmm. Temple looks like their cultist intensive smile appears on her lips. Yes, I recognize that look. I see the two feel the draw of knowledge. <laughs> now she wants to rip out his heart. Remember, our what is a book we have all the other plug. Go forward and strive for new discoveries. Yes, yes, I also approve of acquiring new knowledge. Culture shrinks away from the Templar's gauge, hunting a shoulder. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Came to warn you about the Crusader attacks. I don't think I have enough bluff. Yeah, no. Oh, I actually have a good bluff skill. I just rolled it to fucking two. It's like forget their squabble the discaria, bath of the cultists, close the ranks. One after the other, they rush towards the door of the cage. And I, well, they're opening it and like, they can die with it. I have a horrible itch inside my ear. You stop that. Hmm. And dialogue. And now it comes out to murder kill them. Oh look, they're all crystally and crustily, and there's like some there's like a big rock, two big rocks, and then what the hell's going on here? Distorted mythic succubus. Mythic slayer, mythic barbarian. I think they all have permanent rage and inspired ferocity. And reckless stance and a power attack. Uh who going first? Crispy elf. I still have my buffs. I don't think we're buffed. Judging by the camp right out here, I think my idea was to buff and then go through the door. And I forgot about the buffing part. Oops. You don't have fireball, but you have sneaky snack. Is this a surprise round? No, this is a full round. How do I hit it? most of them can't go there i could go there were i to have there's probably a bad place for her to be considering three of them four of them go before the rest of my people um oops okay thing sounds fun Reaction. No, no, no. Reaction. Actually, what that done? Oh, ship three. I can do that. Two, three, four. How many more we got? Quite a few, apparently. There we go. That sounds probably okay. And they're not super immune to, like, all damage. They have three on that guy. Two. None. Yeah, they're not immune to non-magical damage like all the de demons are. So they'll take the full brunt of the 3d8. Nice. Hopefully that uh, protects her a little bit. Go, tiny dragon! Let them come to you first, though, Tiny Dragon, actually. Ha ha! But Hey, that wasn't terrible. Except for the ones that have several, almost 200 HP. Here he comes! Why the fuck aren't you attacking your own people? Aren't you supposed to be berserk? Rude. Wow. Uh, good job. 
Ember deals five damage. Oh, did they trigger those a second time? No, yeah, they walk through the um, the stalactites and they get hurt again. Go, Shayla. Murder. Where's your smite? Is this your smite? Is that your smite? There's your smite. The inheritor eh. my blade. That's fine. Did he deal zero damage? Or did she take 36? At 36, okay. I have to slightly relearn how the numbers pop up and mean. What do the numbers mean? I just want to vital strike this guy. He has 171 day health. That's cleave. Vital strike. Wait. I can actually move and then vital strike. Because it is a standard action. <laughs> nice. Except I didn't get the... Uh, I should have moved a little bit more towards Sheila. I might have got the cleave. Yeah, I thought these were supposed to be insano demons and attack their own people. Nah, how lame. How lame indeed. Kill the rock before it casts stuff, but it can't cast stuff. It can't cast mirror image. It's raged. The you no longer have controlled fireball. Why don't you have Phantasmal Putrefication? What happened to your spells? Okay. I thought we just rested. Or were we about to rest? I think we were about to rest, which is why the... Yeah. Why the fire is still there. Oopsie poopsie. We have a lot of spells for having been about to rest. I don't know why I was going to... Fighters. Nice. Wow, that got all of them back there. Suckers. It doesn't work. Aw. How weird. Oh, so close. That guy has a cool beard. It's pointy. Who's this? Ember. Um. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have put her there. They're gonna all get attack of opportunity if I do this, aren't they? No. Okay. Go for the big dwarf. Don't attack my very vulnerable squishy. That's in the middle of like four dudes now. I have a kill. Benny, I gave up on Wolf Rider Dwarf already? It's been like a day. Bye, Nanny out. Oh, well, that's a death. Maybe we rest first. One turn, full health, dead. Love it. We were doing so well, too. I was about to cleave everybody in there. Using Resurrection is such a fucking goddamn pain in the dick, though. Because you not only have to cast the Resurrection spell, which I have to do from a scroll, which is like 6,000 gold or something. Maybe even 11,000. I don't remember. I think it's 6,000. Uh, I also have to pop, I think, two normal Restoration scrolls, which is another, like... 3k total. So it's like 9,000 just to resurrect some someone. And that's a lot of gold. How much gold do I have? Not enough to pop 10k every combat. Okay, maybe we pre-buff now. Hello, dirty old hobo sent me. Hello, hobo. Hello, Yarrow. Welcome to the scream. Glad to have a friend of a friend here, even if I can call barely call hobo a friend. Haha, <laughs> lol. The line between whether I mean that genuinely and mean it as bant is becoming thinner every day. Oh no. This war must end. No, I'm kidding. I love you, man. Uh, enlarge. Engorge, my lord. Mm. You guys already have heroism? Oh yeah. Rude. A 
very limited spells currently. Uh, I probably want to go for the meta level of magic. That's always good. They don't have death magic. I don't think she has anything else she needs to cast. Um. Yeah, we, she does have something needs to cast. How much does this? Ten minutes per level. I can pre-cast both of these cave fangs, can't I? Can I only have one or the other active? Or can I have them both active? Oh no. I have discovered a new strategy that my brain, which is not currently fucked up, can actually formulate. Uh, so I can precast both cave fangs for like, what, 120 minutes? Which is probably an entire dungeon. There's no way I'm gonna go through 120 minutes in game. Uh, between rests. Or without resting at some point. And then, you know, when the combat starts, I just pop both of these and have something die. Provided it's not completely in goddamn immune to freaking. Did I actually maximize that? Reach would be good. Provided it's not immune entirely to the bludgeoning damage, like all the stupid demons. Or at least enough bludgeoning damage that it doesn't do anything. You require my unbiased opinion? There we go. That'll be good. Please close the menu. How are you two doing today, hobo and friend of hobo? And everybody else that's sitting here. You Atrocious. Bombadil, who has been going off about how Nurgle is a grandpappy, but also a pappy. And when you shit out Nurglings, I still stand by that. You, uh, you make Nurgle into a great grandpappy. And he's very proud of you. Yeah, hey, yeah, out of my way. Wretched things in the cage. Kill the demon minions. I'll probably pass the bluff check if I do it a second time, so that we're just gonna attack and because I want to murder them all. Enough talk now. Show us great dwarven cleavage. I got great dragon cleavage. Although Ivy was probably better off just doing the nibble. Yeah, twenty damage. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Hold on, I'll just walk up here, let them crowd around, come hither and gather around children, and then give them the boops and bops. Simply business. It's like the peanut butter conversation. No, it's literally if 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 Nurgle is grandfather Nurgle, and you get taken into grandfather Nurgle's care and all your organs become nurglings that then evacuate your body, technically those nurglings now carry your DNA because they were formed of your organs. So they are A, your children, and B, Grandfather Nurgle's great-grandchildren. Atrocious, have you not been here for the peanut butter conversation? All right, so I stand by that every spread can be a dip, and inversely, every dip can be a spread. Because to spread something is you take the the you you take the dip and the spread, and you put it on an object. Yes, that is spreading something. So anything that is viscous enough to, that, that that can be spread will also be viscous enough for you to take the object and then insert it into the into the substance as a dip. So spread is putting something on it. Dip is putting something in it in like the substance in question. So every dip can be a spread and every spread can be a dip. Because if something is too thick to be a dip, it is also too thick to be spread. But not every dip and spread can be a sauce because a sauce is something you can pour onto stuff and certain things are too viscous to be poured yet can still be spread on or dipped in. Although, if you want to get really technical about it, technically anything can also be a dip, spread, or a sauce, because there's a bot in my chat. Get the fuck out of here. How do I ban your ass? There we go. Boom. Fuck off. I need to start banning those keywords again. 
because if you if you if you are allowing the technical application of heat to the equation then anything that is a spread and a dip can also become a sauce because a spread and a dip being semi-viscous can be heated up into a much more thin liquid form and then put on something as a sauce and if you get it hot enough it can also count as a soup because you can just make a whole ass runny liquid with no viscosity whatsoever consistency of water Although at that point, you also might explode it and boil it and burn it. So, you know, maybe not everything can be a soup. Or a broth. The or what have you. Celery way. dipped in peanut butter is a real thing, then I do it. It tastes delicious. Put peanut butter on your celery, you will not be disappointed. Just like the people that don't know that you can spread peanut butter on pancakes and waffles and it will melt because the pancakes and the waffles are nice and warm, but it won't melt to where it like runs off of it. It'll become nice and gooey on top. And yes, even with syrup, it tastes heavenly. Peanut butter and syrup are a good converse, com conversation. Combination is good shit. Go put peanut butter next time you have pancakes or waffles. You will hopefully not be disappointed. Wow, your fireballs suck, Ninia. Ow. My bits and my bobs. <laughs> Shift two. Ah, oh, are they combined? No, why can't you do that? Oh, I guess because she can't move anymore. Yeah, she already did her movement. Oh my god, I can. What do you mean no actions left this turn? Yeah, there you go. I think I hit F2 on accident. Oh my god, you can just cast it on top of things? Holy shit, dude. There we go. Come through my trap floor. You've activated my trap card. Not you, you're a demon. Go away. Damn it, you're wasting my damage. We need these guys to come through it. Come on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He goes. No. Okay, I can't make it. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Ah, vital strike. Boop. Oh, it lived. All right, I have to negate Graybor for that. Ow. Was he attacking me? Ow. My health. My HPs is. Tell your channel to my friend who makes it so it makes it so special. Other than you'll do most anything I give you. I'll do most anything you ask me to do. I am a slut for game suggestions. So you give me suggestion, me possibly and play if sound good. Eventually, in time. Why the fuck can I hit this frog? Is he dead technically? Why? Why he there? Uh, I have Tourette's and I behave like a dumbass and sometimes it's funny. There's my channel. What the fuck is wrong with Lan? He can't hit that guy. I only can fire one arrow. What is happening? And I have a 420 button. <sighs> and I need more water. Shit, I don't know. I don't exactly have like a channel gimmick other than I do the stuff that I want and hopefully you find me fun enough to hang around. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm here to be- WHY IS THIS ROCK NOT DEAD?! Okay. Delay. Why can't I hurt him? Do we have some manner of... Debuff? No. Sheila, are you alive? Oh, right. It's the weird crystal mythic things. They quote-unquote die... And then they poof right back to life eventually. 
Lamos. Should have delayed her. Yeah, damn it, I could have delayed her. No, the other one comes live, live at the beginning. Oh, uh, ma, 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 ma. Spiders? No, I don't want spiders. I want them to actually come into my window. Are you a crusader? Are you a paladin? Do you have stuff? I'm out of range. They do not, in fact, have stuff. Where the fuck is Nenio? Nenio, stop. Why is your range terrible? Nenio, why? Yeah, there we go. What do you mean you can't hit her? Do it! Beautiful. Oh yeah, I get a shadow demon. You somehow got negative eight dexterity. Uh huh. More delay. Ow. Oh, I probably should have healed myself. That would have been a good use for Sheeler. Um. Serious wounds. Yes. Giggle. Because I can't. I don't even use her hexes anymore. Oh, now they're attacking each other. Nice. And I still get experience for it. Yeah. Which of you on Hell Knights? They're really, really atrociously edgy. But I don't necessarily super dislike them, other than the fact that they are just assholes. I dislike them for the appropriate reasons. Can I pop a potion? Yeah, potions are... Come on, get, no, get on there. Potions are a move action in this game, you yeah. Oh, right. My move action was to stand up. This guy's going to immediately reincarnate and kill me. Great! Or kill Sheila. Alright. What are your stats? Dexterity damage. 25 to hit! Jesus Christ! It's all the being angry it's doing. Yeah, I guess the distorted mythic things all have the regen. I think we've seen other mythic things that don't, though. Or that aren't spiky and do have the regen. Uh, let's kill the Incubus. The Incubus is more martial. And the Succubus' danger shit is disabled because she's raging. It's okay, she lives with Mortal for the next two turns. Fight. They didn't patch the uh, the missing thing, did they? Nope. Ha <laughs> Still 17 damage on a miss. Fantastic. You just cast harm on a demon and failed to overcome its shit. Harm is such a high level spell. How did you manage that? 8-8. Eight, eight. 10, 9, 14, 14. Put it on her. Ah. Wait, what? Oh, she doesn't die, die. She goes into like a fake death bullshit. Go, Shadow Demon. I was going to say go over there, but all right, you do you. Like the fucking Plague Storm Shackles. Is that permanent? That's permanent, whatever the hell that is. Oh, come on! Really? Fucking permanent negative aid to dexterity from getting hit? By a goddamn bow? What the fuck is Plague Storm? Shakes. Oh. They inflict diseases with their attacks. What a fucking rip. I hate ability drain and level drain in this game. Because all it is is sucking your money up. 
Because now I have to pop a bunch of restorations just to get rid of those. And uh, there goes my gold. Which is dumb, because like that, this ability score damage may be permanent. But I've definitely had non-permanent ability score damage. And non-permanent level drain. That for some whatever fucking reason, when you rest, always turns permanent. And I have no goddamn clue why. And it's super annoying. Thank God Zelda was excited to play through Final Fantasy. I'm not playing that one, right? No, no, I'm not playing 13. I'm not playing Final Hallway Simulator. I have seen it. I don't need to play it. The experience would be ruined by more than the game can ruin itself anyways. Or already. Final Strike. Beautiful. Pyro, why do you lie to people about me? Uh, I am, however, playing the tragedy that is Final Fantasy X, but only because I'm turning on the Titus mod that turns all the dialogue and music into the game into that stupid fucking laugh. Only memes can save it, but not even memes can save the travesty that 13 is. Did you see that? Okay, that one will come back up. It's knocked down though, which is weird. Do we get disease because there's a disease fog here? Is that what this effect is? No, it said plague shot. It's like those guys are giving me the plague. And Sheila, can you get over there? You can get over there. Charge! This will leave You're still immune lose. for another turn! For some reason, you gained help from that. What? Oh, every time she succeeds a saving throw, she gains HP. Cool. And that's a deck save. I can just, like, run myself and Graybor over there, and I'll probably just get regain more health. Yeah, it's like a 1d6 for damage, but a 2d6. Yeah, 1d8 damage, but a 2d6 plus 4 to heal, so I technically will gain health, like her. Damn. Nice. Sabitur. Kill. All right, Ember, you mind dispelling that? It's like, we don't need the hot floor anymore. The floor does no longer need to be lava. <laughs> he's, he's back and immediately falls over. You're a two-header fighter, correct? Yes, I do big smash. Oh, no, it's the end of the turn. I need to have Nenio do... Damn it. I need to have Nenio do haste. Yay! Yeah, I, t I heal more damage than I take. Beautiful. That was, that's adorable. So that's kind of a cool strat, is set up cave fangs, then run through it. And I didn't mean to press the space bar there and skip whoever that was the turn. Sorry, gray bar. All right, nibbles. Uh, nibble. Probably kill the archers first, because they do the stupid thing. Freaking negative eight dexterity. God, what the fuck? Or what no, it's not their shots. Whatever the fuck cast this. What the hell cast Plague Storm? Is it that? Is it the stink cloud? No, because I got the negative eight after he shot me. I don't fucking know. Do they have special arrows that do poopy gas and then you die? Into the fray. <laughs> You're a battle oracle? Oracles are kind of fun. The 
Nice. Like, as a class, they're, they're fun, but, like, I always... I don't hate the concept of the Oracle Curse feature, but, like, there's never any Oracle Curse that I can find that I like. Like, there's vaguely, like, a third-party one, and then, um... The God Cursed one is kind of fun, where every time anybody around you or yourself once per round, I think it's God Cursed, casts a, um, a divine spell. It rolls on the wild magic table. That one's kind of fun. Did I just haste the demon? Oh. Cool. Well, now everybody else is properly hasted. Oops. I didn't know they're actually hasted the everyone you click. I just hasted? Yeah, whoops. Oh no wait, he has permanent haste. I think that's just something he has. It's just a Kuinky Dink. Yeah, I thought you like center on a point and then uh center on a point that has to be a, a creature and then anybody within thirty foot of that point, which can exclude the creature. Fire Snake. Fire Snake will hit how many? I need to think about this guy before he starts throwing harms at my actual group. And I need to deal with that guy before he starts... Well, he, he's already being an asshole, but... Can I hit him with Hellfire Ray? Nice. I'm sorry, what are your stats again? Why are you, do you only take one damage? Immunity is to critical hits, damage from non-magical weapons, and precision damage. Do you have undead immunities? Storm of Souls, Phantom Touch. It's a Necromancer Oracle. I didn't say he has anything that specifically provides him immunities. Is the Vrock just so fucked up from the disease that it can't do damage anymore? That can't be right. No. I mean, he should be doing 1d8. Why is that guy only taking one damage? He's immune to slashing damage. And the Vrock deals one divine damage. Why are you immune to slashing damage? Oh, damage from non-magical weapons. And the Vrock does not count as magical. You know who does count as magical? No, no. Me! Yay! And they haven't fixed the Vital Strike Cleave bug yet. I suppose it's good for me. Oh, crap. There's an Incubus. No, wait. Kill him. <laughs> Just get all your health back. That works, too. I'm all right. I'm all right. It's like a bloody squirt, and then blood flies everywhere, but they also start regenerating all of their blood with it. it it's, it's very confusing. I don't know, I don't like that I get so many spells to not use. Do they cast as a sorcerer, I think? Or an arcanist? Or no, there, it's a divine. No, yeah, oracles are divine sorcerers, right? Because, like, normal cleric is sort of wizard in that they get. No, well, not. They learn all of their spells, then select a couple. Oracle has a lot more spell slots, but only knows a couple spells. I think they're basically just a divine sorcerer. Although they get their own spell list, don't they? No, the cleric and the oracle spell list are the same thing. Pathfinder oracle spell list. 
Yeah, Cleric Oracle. Spellcasting! Oracle casts divine spells drawn from the cleric spell list. She can cast any spell known she knows without preparing ahead of time. To learn how to cast a spell, the Oracle of Charisma equal to blibbity blah blah blibbity blue. It only casts a certain number of spells per day. Each spell, the yada yada yada. Oh. Uh, spell slots. Spells known. Yeah, they cast like a sorcerer, but for the divine spell list. Which is nifty. I like sorcerers. I play a Phoenix Sorcerer in one of my campaigns. I do uh, so much more healing than any healer could ever do. <laughs> or any divine healer. It's funny. We're also using the Mythic level system, uh, which is very different from the Mythic system in this game. But it also lets me just do even more healing. And it's so funny. And I love it. Although um, the tabletop mythic uh, mythic path system 100% favors uh, saver suck DC casters, where you just do a spell that's like if you lose the save, you're basically taken out of the fight or so helpless that you're the the enemy can just come over and kill you effortlessly. There is not a lot in the mythic system that augments just straight raw damage caster DPS. Like, yeah, you can get more DCs to where they don't make the reflex save on all your evocation spells as much and do more damage through that. But, you know, dealing, say, 10d8 damage full on a fireball instead of 5d8 isn't exactly as good as the person casting Mass Hold Person with a DC of, like, 34... And then you, your fighter just goes around and cuts the throat of everybody that you're ever fighting in the group. Like, yeah, you might deal, like, 50 damage to everybody. But... The enchanter just auto-wins the fight. Am I a dwarf, though? No, I'm a boring human. Because I rather like... Humans. In, uh... Tabletop. When I'm not feeling like a dwarf, I play and I play humans. Because I'm boring. My most recurring class in Pathfinder is human fighter. Because <laughs> I like fighters too. Which is why I'm a dwarf fighter here. Ow, please stop, sir. Thank you. It's your time. Casters are really fun in tabletop as well. So much so that I play like three wizards. One's an arcanist, so you know, potato potato. Hey Vu, why are you not healing from the special fancy fairy heals? Do I have to be alive for that? Dwarves make arguably better fires. Yeah, but sometimes I don't want to play a dwarf. I know, heathen. But I play a lot of dwarves. I main dwarf, but that is main. I can off humans if I feel like it, okay? No glory without risk. Get out of the poopy cloud. Uh, this condition is irrational. I regret doing that. I regret doing that massively. Holy shit, they went from full health. Um, loot the bodies. Nobody move a muscle. Yes? If you would be so kind as to dispel. Am I doing it wrong? Must be an effect created by the same caster. Oh no. Can't dispel the ones that are already on the ground. All right, we're going to go. Vision blurring, legs are shaking. Precariously Shiner. around the rubble death puddle I've just made. Okay, you're immune. You're fine. A bright future awaits us. I 
don't know if she uses... I don't know if she uses Heal Living or Lay on Hands when I do Automatic Healing on Rest. So we're going to do that manually. Hmm. Oh god, that sucks. Um, we need to not be in that. That has a lot of fucking corruption. Oh, it's because it wants me to rest for a whole day. Can I do rest for the not recommended period of time? Yes. Okay, much better. I don't think we'll be fully healed by that. But we'll be close enough. Dwarf boy, tell me more about the place where you Dwarf wanted to boy. kill people. You called it Hawk's Nest? If I told you, they'd hunt you down. Wait, you look like the prospect appeals to you. Forget it. You shouldn't even joke about it. There's no getting away from Daggermark assassins. Look cute little pot they're putting stuff into. Oh, cool. All the dexterity did go away. Wait. Did it? No. It did for some people. Not for... I guess it, they, they saved versus the disease properly, didn't they? Meanwhile... Uh, 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 Alright. Gosh darn it. All right, where's all my restorations? Probably more lucrative to just pop a normal resto. Not for you, though. Yeah. How much is worth? I don't believe that that's 37. 175 and 37. Yeah, so... Like six, six lesser restorations equal to one normal restoration. I don't think I got them for that cheap, though. I'm pretty sure I didn't pay 175 for my normal restos. I paid like somewhere in the three or four or five or six or seven or eight or nine or ten hundred range. Okay, not that high. Ooh, a table. Headquarter map. Scattered reports. Mission plans. Your office tools will be keen to take a look at these documents after everybody else has been murdered. One thing at a time. All right. Buff time. What is this? Dense rubble. Cool. How long does this last? Ten minutes per level. Okay. Do any buffs? Yes. I will help where I can. Hold. I like you. My guy does not need it. I have fancier heroism. It's like greater, greater heroism, but forever. We'll make things right. Sword, she had another buff. Nope, it's just been a while. Do I have another buff? Uh, I can give myself heartburn. That's it, bless. Now I'm the one who casts bless. 
12 minutes is a lot. Again, saving throws against fear effects. Feels tired of rerolls. Morale. Blah 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 blue. Cool. Don't care. Apparently, I have challenge evil. Right, but I'm not a charisma in any way or shape or form. So all these casting, unless it's buffs, is completely fucking bunk because my DCs are so goddamn low. Hello, giant skull hallways. This place looks freaking awesome. Ooh no. Practice makes perfect. You know what you're doing. Good. <gasps> A compliment. Wow. A trivial. And again, Greybor's not quite the asshole that uh, Grotus man in the first one in Kingmaker is. I picked the plague curse, so I'm constantly a coughing dwarf. Where I just saw a spider on my wall that got to the corner of my eye. When I looked over there, it's not there. My God, disappearing spiders. The spider is there until it is observed. That rock is sitting in a chair! Almost. They're actually chained up. Oops. Who the fuck are you? Why are you all crusty? Oh, he is made of worms! He's a swarm of cockroaches, Jerry. Teacher, it's the Crusaders. They're already here. The commander himself is with them. Don't be such a coward. These pathetic knuckle-draggers are powers for the mind of the great Xanthair, the wormy one. Xanthair Vang. The figure in the robes turns towards the cultist and automatically takes a step back. Who automatically takes a step back, bringing a hand to his mouth? There's no human face beneath the gray hood, just a swarm of shifting locusts. He's a swarm of cockroaches, Jerry. Did I not say that I would do what the, to the next half-wit, what I would do to the next half-wit who dared to call me by that ignominious... Oh no, he's gonna get along great with frickin' Nino. Moniker. They both sound like nerds. Oh. Bees! Run, kitty! There's bees! And the shakes out of the sleeve as false or locusts emerge from within it and develops the cultist's head. No, the cultist exploded into them. That was much cooler. Shrieking, he tries to get them off, but they have already burrowed their way inside. Turning his face into one gaping wound, the unlucky cultist continues screaming desperately a few seconds, then his belly explodes into pieces as the locusts burst out of him. You come here. We still have time to complete the transformation. He beckons the demon over. A, a demon over? Can they come there? Like they're they're pretty um pretty chained up. I don't think they can come. You gotta go to them. Biggest demon over scrambles eagerly towards the threatening look. Are these demons? Oh, they are. That guy is at least. One of you might be an incubus. Nope, just that guy with a just a dude with the freaking bug head. Go over to the threatening looking machine and enter towards the surviving students. All of you, do as I've taught you. Try just this once to follow my instructions to the letter. And if anyone draws another Neanderthal crystal, he will only have himself to blame for the horrific fate. Break the locust magic. Boop. You'll realize that the wall of locusts is not magic itself, and you cannot break it as you would a spell. Yeah, he is a worm that walks. Disperse the locusts with your weapon! Smash! That moment, you scatter the buzzing insects to the air, creating a gap in the wall that you can pass through into the chamber. This is inappropriate, sir. Demon summoned the machine, howls in pain, paying no attention to you. Xanther Vang places a crystal on the demon's body. Since the rather than... And you sense rather than see the demon changes something different, something more frightening than before. He has gained mythic levels. Look closer and realize that you have seen this type of crystal before. The magic chisel you have found in Canabras is made from the same material. Squirsh. <laughs> and the bag looks to his students, who are all just starting to carry out the procedure on their own demons. Cease your rummaging, dults. Consider your lesson ended. You're working too slowly. Unchain the beast and defend the chamber. Fight until the last. Aw, oh, flashy. Ooh, they're animated. I like that they gave them a specific animation just for that. Oh, time for fireball! He was casting a spell. Transformed. He, they turned him into an oracle! No, they gave him curses! Did they actually give him a curse? Yes! Yeah! Oh, that's a mystery. They did not give him a curse! What a rip. Masshole person. Yeah, we need to take that up. And he has Thunderbolt. Ooh. 
Are we hasted? I think I forgot to haste us with the, the spells I was buffing us with. Oops. Uh, you, move there. You, Hellfire Ray? He only has 12 will save. 60%. Nice. Get wrecked. Ooh, over here would have been a great place to put stalactites. Oh, what I could have too! Shit! Right, she has them precast. Eh. That's fine. I'll just have Nanyo do this. And now they're sticky icky. I probably should have also done haste. Oops. You're an Azada. What do you mean I'm an Azada yuck? I have an adorable little dragon friend. Azada actually hasn't been too terrible. Who's this? This is Nenyo. Again? Again? Did she just go twice? Yeah, because I just used Cold Ice Strike. Uh-huh, you suck. I need to kill this guy. Those guys also suck. Five foot step. You won't survive me. Oh. Five foot step, not enough. Lame. I really wish you could turn five foot steps if it didn't proc anything and you weren't within, you know, range of another enemy into normal movement. Sometimes, I don't know, I can't see the doorway. Technically, yeah, technically like this, she's just out of line of sight. And I don't want to disturb his slumber. <laughs> Trying to attack my demon. Spite! Nice. Take a look. Ooh. I wonder if that's to a trap right there. Graybar, you still can Doesn't attack, work. right? No. How weird. Really? Really? It ate the rest of his movement and his action. You're because he discovered way. that fucking button. God, I hate how buggy this game is sometimes. Like, I moved in here, he spotted that, and then he, he, I can't move him anymore. Look at how big his sword is, though. I don't know what it is about the doors, but they glitch out, and their weapons become... Yeah! Big sword! Big sword. Uh, I need AoE for the Locust Swarm, right? That would hit it. It also hit all my other dudes. I think they'll live, because we have communal fire resistance. Or she can miss. That works too. The Zadas are beings of chaos. They have literally the freedom to deform themselves in any freaking way. Just like someone highly attuned to chaos. Neat. They're not evil chaos, though. They're like fairy chaos and maximum freedom, which is very gloriously God bless America. Eat the bugs. That's just the normal Vrock? Yeah, they failed to do the thing. Oh yeah, probably because I succeeded the check. How do you... S yeah, chaotic evil locusts. Weird. No. No. Sheila, you want to miss them. You do more damage when you miss. They're a swarm now. Her free damage on a miss would probably have worked. I just want to charge over here. Can I charge over there? No. What I do want to do is go coup de gras this guy. Or I can do improved vital strike, 
And it'll probably do the same thing. No, he has 227. Do I want a coup de gras? Oh, he's awake now! Why? Vital strike! Why are you awake? God damn it. Oh my god, my sword just keeps getting bigger every single glitch. Um... He has burning hands. Ow. Uh, did that just deal 40 damage to Sheila? No. I am hallucinating. But I was able to wave my weapon and get the locusts to disperse. Why can't I just murder them now? They're immune to death effects, aren't they? You're irrelevant. No, they're immune to anything that targets a single target. Meaning, yes. But I can do this and hit both swarms. Yay! That's a lot of health for a freaking swarm, too. That's immune to goddamn everything. Yeah, they're evil. Where's my divine damage? Where's my miss damage? Equal to your strength bonus when you miss with the melee attack. The target till stake still takes damage. Where's my extra fucking damage, game? Like, I'd maybe understand if it was immune to it, but it's not even rolling it over here. Are you resisted or immune to effects? That's just this thing. Immunities. Physical damage from weapons. I love my damage is physical, isn't it? Yes. Charge! Oh. That was a hundred damage with just a normal attack. God, it's from my huge fucking sword. Graybar would be good against these guys then. Because he has elemental damage. Yeah, there we go. Nick. I love that phantasmal web. Glorious. Do you know what I mean about the saver suck mythic builds? They're crazy. It's unlike phantasmal web out, and ah, uh, I win. Good job, tiny dragon friend. Endure this. Is this even going to work? Battle strike! <laughs> Zero damage. <laughs> 96 plus 105 reduced to zero. What a fucking shame. It's your time to cease to exist. Oh, uh, really? If he moves... Is that what happened? If I moved to study a target, You're in it consumes way. his entire movement? Hellfire Ray. Flame. That's what it was. Scream? Nope. Make every strike count. 
Eight, six. It's almost dead. It's something. Into the there we go. And nobody has level drains or some other bullshit. Oh no, we have dexterity drain again. Never mind, it's a large person. I'm dumb. Okay, I got it. It shouldn't be red if it's a size modifier. I'm your blade. Uch. Uch. Ah. Where's the other pressure plate? Cobbler's device combining technology and magic. The leather straps were saying the victim looked worn for frequent use. Do I gotta be on that and then touch the button? I already touched the button. I only have one chance to touch the butt. And they bang on the nature of demons. Yup, cool. Must try this. It's an infomercial. That's all it is. Ah, ah there we go. You look, go sit there. Commander? Touch. Touch. Nice. Free loot room. He's wearing clothes. He can have loot. What is this? Headband of wisdom plus four and demon blood. Do we need anybody? Do we have anybody that would use a headband of wisdom that doesn't already have one? Negative. Bloodstained coated note. What is that within the chamber? Is possible to get the words chamber lord? Below there are four symbols. One of the first two can be seen, a six-pointed star and a triangle. Uh, didn't I already do that one? Or is there a second one? I did that one. That's how you find uh, the fairy chick. Or not fairy chick, the, the insect chick. Ooh. 55% of pick the lock. Alright, we'll use an expert lock pick on that. It's better be good. <gasps> it's a ring. Ravager of Dread. Is it a good ring? Spring guys, the wearer plus four morale bonus against confusion and fear effects. If the wearer fails to save throw such as, of such effect, the effect ends, and the wearer gets a plus two bonus on saving throws and a plus two bonus on damage rolls. Interesting. And when the effect ends, fear effect. I guess we can put it on green bar. No. He's immune to fear. Lon has all of that. Herbal ring. I'll put it on, I guess. I do not want to be feared. Feared is bad. Here you go. Herbal. That's pretty alright. Plus four versus fear and whatever the other thing was. Confusion. Confusion actually really good. We fight those stupid bug thing a lot, and they cast confusion. And I don't want to get confused and then vital strike somebody, or just normal attack them for all of the damage. Together, we stay. This war must end. All right, where's the other pressure plate? Got to be a third, right? Because the two did nothing. In this room? No. Yeah, there's a pressure plate there and there. Is it under the dead bird and I can't see it? You should have listened to and I can't reason. move there because the dead bird's in the way? No. That'd be annoying if I killed it on one of the pressure plates. Never know it's there. The odds are against us. I like that. That works too. Never mind. Let's go. I wonder if stepping on the pressure plates also opened that one door. Hey, a thing. Oh, do I have to be on the plate? So is restless. I wonder Practice why. Makes perfect. And then touch the novel. Or we on both plates and war. then touch the novel. Ready to serve. 
There we go. I didn't think the door was locked. Cool. I did it. I solved the puzzle. Which way do I want to go first? This goes towards the inner sanctum. I want to go there last. Ooh. Maximize meta magic rod and bubonic plague in a stick. Fantastic. I'm always open to ideas. Why don't you think something's behind here? Oh look, stuff that was behind there. This is a nice big empty ass room, okay. Nanyo, sticky. Ooh, oh, there are some invisible ones, too. That is a lot of dudes. That is quite a few dudes. That is several, like, almost a whole ass dozen dudes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That counts as almost. Uh, ten. Probably some more back here and around. Uh -huh. That's a lot of invisible demons. Go, tiny nibble dragon! Nice. You can't do anything. You can do something. There's just a lot of demons in this room. There's just a lot, a lot, a lot of just a whole ass... Oh, right, she can use stalagmite stuff. It doesn't do anything to demons, though. I wish these would stay out of my bar up here. Yeah, that won't do anything to them because they're immune to bludgeoning from non-magical sources and such. And that doesn't count as magical bludgeoning. Um, do I have anything I can throw on the ground other than Volcanic Storm? No. Do I need anything other than Volcanic Storm? Yeah, because I don't need Volcanic Storm because they're shticked. How long does that last? How long are you stuck in the middle with me with? A minute. That's a long time. Just scorching, right? Touch 10, he has, I'm pretty sure, yeah, he has. Surrender or else! Mirror image to you. Three to six plus one additional per two lit caster levels. D6? Or I can just do Scorching Ray, which will be a lot more than 8d6, right? Yeah. It'll be 4, 8, 12, and then like... I think another 3d6 because of her ring. Another 1d6 plus 5. Yes. Touchy touch. Uh, Man is so dead. Oof. What just happened? Ah, they're trying to take my soul. Too bad. It's mine. You can't have it. Darn it! I was hoping it'd be, it would go through it. The one time it doesn't trigger mirror image and goes through it and one shots the boss. That'd be wonderful. I already one-shot one boss in this game that was set it through the entire, like, ghoul cathedral. And I'm like, yeah, no, uh, sleep. And it rolled a one. And then I coup de grace it, and it rolled a one. And it died. And there was much rejoicing. Yay. Nanyo. This sounds like a lot of fun to do on all of these demons. I need to give her more casts of both of those, to be honest. Because those are her bread and butter. But Hellfire Ray is kind of cool. I need to embrace her being save or suck rather than... Really? You only... Why, why you only get one attack, lad? Just need to accept that Nanya will never do damage. 
and stack her illusion DCs and just catch sticky and your flesh is falling off -y. What's your will save? Garbage! Oh, fun! Away with you! Giggle. Oh, he's a wiggly sleeper. Oh shit, he got out of the web! Bonk! How much damage did that do? Uh, I don't know. 86, but it also failed to save and died. Elf. Sheila touched herself. <laughs> you had a chance. We should get four wisdom. Oh crap, he's actually over there actually hurting something. Usually the shadow demon doesn't deal any damage, but it is good. Word. It's a good distraction. Nice. Did he just have a centipede explode out of him that's crawling around on the floor now? No, I think it was one of these bones. <laughs> there they go! Uh, I should really open with putrefaction, because then they'll all fall down over here, and I can just cleave them. <laughs> they all come tumbling down. Ah, I love it. Oh, uh, I want to do anything with you. I have a wand of fireballs. I have a stick of fireballs, too. Burning arc sounds good. Burning arc is actually really good. What the? Where did that guy come from? Oh, that was the dude right there. He's just, we're like, slightly combined into each other because they fell down next to each other. Critter Explosions, why did they remove that? Is there a spell in Pathfinder called Critter Explosion? That sounds horrifying and wonderful. I think I just Vital Strike and then I get two. Actually, they'll die pretty easily, right? If I just go do a cleave. <laughs> nice. I did it. Actually, a normal cleave. My normal cleave does pretty good damage. But, oh, hi. You're not pizza. Is that a dragon egg? There's gonna be an egg for something. Is there's so many demons in here? Oh, that's probably where they get the wound drakes from. So the dragon here was in league with the demons. Or maybe not. In K-Maker, you replace the blood spatters with cute little critters. They removed that in this game. Aww. I would love to have that on. But still alive. Ah, oh, you guys. I wouldn't, it, I wouldn't put it past, like, Paizo to make a, 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 a spell in Tabletop Pathfinder that's just all the critters explode for, like, 1d2 whatever damage. Simply business. It'd be great for summoning tiny swarms of stuff, because there's also, um summon tiny animals or something, which, which you summon per level, like 1d4 plus 2, like rats or bunnies or something. That combined with Critter Explosion! Scapoop. Get him, Nino. Yeah. Good girl. Anything worth taking? He does. Firestorm. And you can you Firestorm? You learned Plague Storm, so it was a spell somebody cast. I don't even know what the other one was, but I wanted it. Oh, cool. Greater Dispel Magic. 
Not that she can use this ball magic, but... I just leave? There's an exit outside here? Is that where I free the dragons? Two? Most nod by huge teeth and clubs to be ripped by shot claw lights scattering across the remnants of a repast. Of a repast? Your large range raging monster. I wonder if this is a, like a wound drake lair. Like the other dragon that I killed. And I'm going to touch the eggs and it's going to come wandering in. Well, might as well touch the eggs and kill the golems while I still have haste. Stone the... Don't let's appear on the golem's unmoving face, and it loudly says, Intruder detected! Hey, dragon, where have you gone? You better fly back here and fight as Teacher Xanther the Pla- Ow! Makes a noise if it's just been smacked upside the head as Teacher Xanther bang, bang, ordered, or else your eggs will be destroyed! The unis and the golem swings their fist above the eggs on the ground. Hey, stop there right now. Those are dragonlings in there. They're almost ready to hatch. I wanna... I want the dragon eggs. Yeah, these are wound wound worm eggs and look like they will soon hatch. Requires Azana. Wake the slumbering life of the eggs. I won't let you kill unborn dragons. Give me friends. Babies! <gasps> they become my friends. There they go! Can I have them? I want my friends! The eggs tremble a crack appearing on the shells, and tiny creatures look like they're made from living fire burst from within. They dart away, making funny little chirping sounds. I want them. Can I adopt them? Glumsing their fists down upon the now empty shells. Na 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 na. You mean na uh uh uh? Not na 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 Batman! Who calls that making faces the golems? Oh, it's na 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 na. That's what it is. Hello, Mary! Just in time for the little baby dragons to explode out of their eggs! All side objectives completed. Plans deactivation. They'll slowly lower the heads and freeze like statues. Sweet! Free golems! Eventually. Where's the babies? I want the babies! I wonder if that's how they kept, um... The one dragon that I slayed slewed from attacking this area or something. Because they had its eggs held hostage. Or else there's another wound worm. There's probably another one. Because there's a name for wound worm, so there's got to be multiple. Wound worms are blind and evil, or I could take them and, like, purify them of their demon taint and make them into funny little dragon friends. Devara was not a wound worm. She looked like it. She was definitely blind. Oh, hi. How are you doing? You require my unbiased opinion. She had no eyes, literally, and did not look like any dragon I knew. If she was not a wound worm, I ain't fucking know. Charge! Oh. Can I still go charge? No. Where am I? Ivory Sanctum. Just in a whole other part of it? Okay. So do the tiny little baby dragonlings just go and fly into the distance? Are they going to return eventually and go, thank you? And offer me their services as the mighty whatever the hell's going on here? I don't know. Maybe they'll imprint on me as daddy because I- Maybe my bullshit Azada mythic powers have filled them with fairy funk and... Stuff? And now they're not evil anymore? Ow! I need more dragon friends. I need more babies. I only have one, but I I, design, I I yearn for more. No. <laughs> Me goes. I like how, despite that being like a psychological effect of every like, their organs just stop with Phantasmal Killer, right? 
forming. Yeah, they become so afraid that they die, and yet he exploded into blood. Maybe their heart explodes because they're so afraid and just starts coming out of every orifice. Charge! No glory without risk. Where was out here? Might? Why? Oh, I decapitated him. <laughs> Not a chance. Oh, hi. Are you supposed to come in round two? How you doing? Welcome to the party. My name is Kagrim. Uh, heal. How you doing? Ooh, they're Elder Rocks now. Kill them like the rest. Wow. That's the second time she's done that. She needed to roll a not one. She rolled a one. What is Devara then? It's like, I tried to look up what kind of dragon she was. Doesn't fucking say. And I'm pretty sure that I found out she was a wound worm and even learned that wound worm exist existed because someone called her one. Into the fray. Like, I just thought she was like a really fucked up red dragon or something. Then somewhere, something said wound worm. And I went, oh, that's a, that must be a thing. Hi. Oh my god, minotaurs with clothes! Labyrinth minotaurs? They have clothes and cute little armors and adorable baby faces. Look at his eyes. They're so cute. It's the anime version of Minotards. Hmm? They have a lot of health. God, I wish I could go there and open with Vital Strike. Uh, here's what I'm going to do. Okay, they're, they're just... You know what? Never mind. We're just going to explode them normally. Uh... This. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, there's like fiery, crappy minotaurs. And then like, I guess, less demon-tainted minotaurs. But they're still chaotic evil. Wait, enigmatic? Like, these ones are outsiders. Not monstrous humanoids. Where do you come from? What happened? You've crossed the wrong mongrel. I just wasted those. Just turn one garbage. The light take you. Or ambush garbage. Hello. Hello there. Oh, oh baby dragon. What? Sorry, Sheila. Ow. Ow. What are your saves? 19 and 15. Or 17 and 13. Ah, I like those odds. Fuck it. Ah, 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 ah. over here. No, this has to be a bridge. I love them. They got, like, cool little armors. And clothes and hammers. Cool looking minotaurs. I got I got Sonic Ray. It's great for large groups of enemies. Good job. You did a thing. Wow. I think I'm just going to escape and save my spell slots. The inheritor. Guide my blade. Nice. Battle strike. Yay. Alright, I don't know why it's Sheila that's looting them. What do we get? Earthbreakers plus one. And a stat page. 
Inflict moderate wounds. Sonic Breath, whose idea was this? Fire Breath, how hard is that to code? It's because her specific species of dragons is Sonic Magic Breath. It propels tiny magical hedgehogs at them so hard that it hurts. Hello, why are you like 10 FPS? That is a lot of demons. What's going on? That is a lot of demons. That is an increasing amount of demons. Oh, come on. I could have webbed them over there. That is a lot of demons. He was part of land on the rock with one heavy thud after another. Do they have teleports? The sound merging into an unending barrage. More and more feeds appear around you. Many of them are... Ow, oh, my haste wore off. Are twitching and convulsing, their heads rolling on their necks like they've been stunned. Their disgusting flesh bursts open for your eyes, and strange crystals grow from the wounds. I think that happened before I got here. New character, who this? Xenadra. A well built female cultist, that means she has boobs, gives you a mocking salute. How goes it, Crusader? Don't you feel a little out of your depth here? Nah, I got spider webs enough for this. Well, you're wandering around the Sanctum looking for things to make demons stronger. Xanthir the Plagued One, he hates that name, you know. Gathered up all the fiends he could and performed a ritual on all of them. He was in haste and didn't take proper care, so a few of the demons died in the process, but it makes so no difference. Even with the all power, you stand no chance against this army. I've, I'm probably fine. Like, I can kill everything with ease, maybe except for the giant flying testicles and the crab demons. They have extra long horns, too, I think. Aeon Mythic Pass. Let's start celebrating before the fight's even won. You wouldn't want to embarrass yourself. How's that chaotic? Gonna fight till the end no matter what happens. Enough chit chat. You wanna fight? Get on with it! Let me enjoy your stupidity and helplessness just a little longer. Oh no, Kakin, looks like we're done for. This fearsome horde is going to overwhelm us at any moment. I'm so afraid I can barely hold on to my sword. She barks out a laugh, piercing the cultist with a glare. Not afraid, Paladin, you should be. Now she's immune to fear. Where's your light? All I see is the darkness closing in. The little swords are drowned up by the resounding call of war horns. Dismay ripples look through the demon host. The moment later, everything around you is filled with blinding light. Is it? I can take him. I don't need help with this. Come on. No, no, no. Fuck off, angel. I got this. God damn it. No, I can take him. I say to you fiends. I don't need help! Get out of here. No mercy here! You have a good voice actor. Forge onward to your enemy champion and have no fear! The warriors of heaven will keep the monsters from your back! Where the fuck were you this entire goddamn time? Just now got here? Wow. The hand of the inheritor! Here! Damn it all! You have a voice now. No answer for this. Some other time. Who is this? This is very sudden. Where were you this entire goddamn time? I have been fighting. Oh, that's a big boy. It's just a normal one with enlarged person, isn't it? I think it's just a normal one. It's just called a normal Glabrezu. He just has enlarged first, doesn't he? Demonic bulk. Ugh. Yeah, that, that's that's just enlarged person. Yeah, see, as enlarged person. Wait, where, where, where is this demon? The where is the angel the entire time I was fighting demons through thick and thin, and all of this? I was slaying demon dragons. I killed the freaking bug lady. I met goddamn the world wound chick herself. I I I, I, I fucked up. I. I had to retake the city without you assholes! Don't you come here and go, aha, we're here to save the day! Fuck you! This is my war! Get out! See, I can take him. I tried uh, <laughs> I'm a little bit salty that all these angels just poof in now of all times. 
nah, bitch. I didn't need you in Canabras. I didn't need you in that other place that I don't remember the name of. And I don't need you now. It might be like a storyline merger. I don't fucking know, but suddenly they're here. We've just been fighting demons for like six months now. And now the angels are gonna come. come. Ha ha, we're here to save the day. Ugh. Those demons had plot armor and you couldn't have defeated them if you tried. Maybe, perhaps that is true. Yeah, like the only thing that threatens me here is the Glabrezu. The Vrock, I could definitely take. And all these other things are really weak baby demons. Oh, we're in a surprise round. Yeah, if we got a surprise round, I definitely could take it. All I need to do is one web here, the itching... No, I need to do the itching garbage here, and then the web here from Nenyo. And we would have been fine, because these guys would have been stuck. And come round to these guys' turn, they would have been going, Oh no, my skin's falling off and falling over. I don't think you understand. I have a mythic illusionist. I have the saber suck. Into the fray. Bonk. Hey, I got Sheila who does crits. Behold. Oh, look. Now, one, two, three, four. Oh, look. Everything but the Glabresu and the Vrock are now taken out of the fight. Save or suck. It's your time to cease to exist. My haste wore off, and I'm sad about that. Hello, Strike? Oh, not quite. Not quite, it'll Strike. I can hit that guy, apparently. Why can't I hit this guy? But I can hit this guy? No. There we go. It's Treyhern's story. Who the fuck is Treyhern? And to this day, you call Sheila She-Ra for no reason. I haven't been saying She-Ra. I've been calling her Sheila. Or Sheila. I don't know. I don't think I've been calling her She-Ra. She's dumb enough to be She-Ra, though. Oop. Mmm, damage. Yeah, who the fuck is Treyhern, man? It doesn't matter if you type it. I don't know the name. Or I, maybe I do if you're referencing it and I don't remember it. Guild Wars 2. Nope. Don't remember him. Pal plant plant Jesus? Nope, don't remember him. I recognize the name as being from Guild Wars 2 now that you mention it though. Do not remember who the hell the character is though. Touch of seven. Thirteen fourteen. The pit. I think I just do Hellfire, right? Never mind, mirror image. God damn it. Ugh, I hate mirror image. Nenio, why do you go two times in a row now? This is the second time this has happened. It's weird. Kill this. <laughs> I didn't actually expect that to die. Oh, it's 32 DC now instead of 30. Right, because she has Fox's Cutting on. Neat. Yeah, 32 DC at level 12. Mwah. That's good shit. You're in my way. That is 37 armor class. Damn. Are you all mythic little dudes? Oh, they are. Some of them are distorted. He's just not purple. And there's a mythic shear, and Ivu can come over here and go bleh for a lot of damage. Your breath web is actually really good now. 
Oh, hi. Ow. You did one damage to my pal- to my- Did he do one damage to my mythic demon? Or my shadow demon? Yeah. Weird. Hold on, I need to get in there to be able to cleave. I need one of you guys to move. I literally can't get in there to do my whole shtick. Eh. That'll do, I guess. Darn it, if I could have gotten right there, I could have probably taken out like six of them. Ooh. Boop. Fire snake. So is this progress then? Because I thought going to the center of the sanctum was progress. If I can't go back from here, I'm going to reload. <laughs> I still have the center of the hell of my thing to do. My demon that has so much more health than you're dealing. Sheila, go like over here and then loop that boy so I can get in there. Torrent. What's torrent? Five foot step. That was a six foot step. God damn it. Is why I need to use the movement toggle. I do stop being in the way. Go by his butt off. Okay, here we go. Can I get in there? Or is the shadow demon in the way? Oh. I need haste. I could hold my turn until Nenyo. No, wait, I'm at the end of the turn order. Am I still thick enough to hit multiple? I am! Do you still have... I don't think he has mirror image anymore. But he also won't die and give me a big cleave. God damn it. Fire thing? You're actually almost dead. I'm just going to do this. Uh, nice. Oh, there's another one down there. All right, he gets to regenerate. Because that's the thing that these do. Make every strike count. Steel Wars 2 had this huge, very custom storyline, a metric fuck ton of starts, different paths it could go to, etc., etc. But it seems like they had gotten kind of rushed to tie it up by the time the release happened. So suddenly you just meet Plant Jesus, and the story changes from your own personal stories to the advent Je adventure of being Plant Jesus' page. Ah, that sucks. That's terrible. So you're like the main character the entire time doing all the stuff, and then you just get replaced? By this leafy bastard. Guide my blade. Not only by a leafy bastard, but the closest thing to elves! That that setting has. Disgusting! Oh, they might kill my shadow demon. Haste. Oh yeah, that's some good sneak. Simply business. <laughs> yeah, I probably could have taken this fight. Like back here, they would have been just itching their skin off and incapacitated. And I could have kept having Nenio just cast like pit and stuff. I could have put a pit here. It's really weird because it's over a bridge. It's magic though. Like, I could have made them itchy, pit, sticky, all manner of business. I could have taken it. Fuck off, hand of whatever lady. Ioma Day. Are you not back up? Okay. Touch. Ah. 
He's already a half health. I still love their little claw clacks. Super cute. I don't like that they just have normal dude hands growing out of their nipples, though, instead of, like, weird demon hands. I think it has claws, actually, this time around. Yeah, the little hands have claws now. It used to just be that they were just normal person hands, like, just arms. Just got normal skin tone, not even beastly and demony. Guess they figured it was a little weird to just have normal dude hand, dude arms for nipples, so they gave him claws in an update or something. I don't remember them having claws. Game of hide and seek is as old as time in itself. All the people of Glarian have their own version, but the basic rules are the same. Let me go back. I'm not done looting the other place. God damn it. You angelic bastard! Fine, I better be able to come back, though. I think we have enough quick saves to return if we need to. What was that about a game of cat and mess? I think it's a little tight. People go over their own versions, but the basic rule is the same. One person dies, one person sick. The former gets the chance to feel cutting and spear. The other selecting a opponent. The latter is turned into a hunter. Drag down the weaker prey. People grow up, but the games never change. The leader has cast over the role of prey and is battling her life on her decision. Betting her life decision, the commander is now on the hunt. Who the fuck is Zenidra? Cowardice is not a failing, with the result of natural survival instincts. Zenidra, the Baphomet cultist, thought it best to flee the battle of the Ivory Sanctum, but where has she gone to ground? It's possible someone who knows the inhabitants of Baphomet cultists may be able to offer some ideas. Old Jeff. The laboratory. No, I wanna go I wanna go back to the Sanctum. Not done. Damn it. There's a whole, like, inner part that I was avoiding because I thought that's where I was supposed to go. Hmm. Hopefully I can... Oh, hi. Well, that one's not hostile. Hopefully I can go back to the Ivory Sanctum. On the nature of the divine. Oh, hey, Xanthir. Oh, is your laboratory tiny? Oh, no, we're still over here now. I can still go back to the middle? One you second. What you're doing. I'm gonna go rest real quick. Actually, I don't think I need to rest. I just need him to not die. Meditate How do I make him not mistakes. die? With Tush. Make you feel better. One second. One second. Refresher. Ah, oh, what up, worm doodle? The figure in a loose hooded robe stands facing away from you. What do you mean a figure? There's three, six, nine of him. I've given you the gift of strength. Arise and fight in the name of Descari, of Baphomet, of whoever you please. I command you, defend my laboratory. Fools! Feckless, useless morons! I'm surrounded by idiots, and what have I done to deserve this? What crime have I committed that the universe would punish me so? I don't know, you're a swarm of cockroaches. I still see a leg under there, though. That guy has just 2D JPEGs of locusts just spinning around his leg meat. He shouts and calls them names, I think that will get them to listen to him, right? That's what my parents did to me until they realized I'm autistic and it didn't work. Mr. Swarm that walks. Oh, she knows what it is. May I ask you a question of interest in science? Aren't locusts generally afraid of sparrows? In your position, I would have thought it more sensible to turn into a flock of sparrows. But then you have to worry about cats. Hmm, I don't care about comments. She's right. Turn into a a uh, turn into a swarm of blue whales. Nothing will fuck with you then. Danfear the plagued one. <laughs> Just call him the name he hates. You're the one who has been imbuing demon with powers never before seen in Valerian, and I have come to stop you! I feel like I hate that name. Stop! The figure of the hooded rope slowly turns around, his face and hands are a writhing mass of locusts. You see, you listen closely. I thought he had, like, worms falling off of him at one point. What the fuck? 
Wait. Okay, there it goes. He's just gaining sheer heads for some reason. This goes over here. The reason rasping of little feet and wings running against one another. Gross! It's a nickname. The Plagued One. My students coined it as a way of showing their respect. I abhor it. You must know this would be trying to rile me, or you are an ignorant blather skite flapping his gums. Xanther falls silent for a moment, and the wrestling of the locusts under the cloak becomes even more prominent. Whichever it is, you can claim no superiority over me unless my, over my useless minions and the demons that inhabit my sanctum. I despise my idiot students who cannot even take a single step without an order from me. I despise demons, self-satisfied imbeciles who prefer to tear husks hunks of flesh from each other than to carry out my instructions. I despise Discari and Baphomet for forcing me to work with them. Chittery locust grows louder, sounding threatening. I despise you, Vandal. You came into my laboratory, smashing up my specimens, and interfering with the sand in my vagina. Away with you! Get out now! Sorry, the locust in his vagina. Locusts are allergic to fire, right? Never going in. Yo, what are you? 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 Physical enhancement. He's an alchemist. No, he's a wizard. He's a transmuter wizard. Ah, that hurts. That is what vital strike is for. Immunity to magic missile, he has shield. Immunity to grapple, critical hits, ability score damage, drain. Movement and pairing effects, death, poison. Well, paralyzed, tangle, difficult drain. Yeah, telekinetic fist. He, uh... Yeah, he's a transmuter. I have a transmuter. See? Transmutation. Transmuters are super fun to play in tabletop because you can't really get the same effect in this game. But like trans, a lot of transmutation, um, a lot of transmutation spells in the Pathfinder tabletop are like terrain manipulation. So like fly and levitate and like moving giant chunks of earth and feather fall. Not really in this game because it, it I don't, I'm not sure how you could quite put that in a game uh, like this. But like in the tabletop. That is one of my favorite kind of wizards to play, which is just transmutation-focused utility wizard. Just, you need to get over a terrain, you need to completely fuck the dungeon, just say, screw this, I don't need no dungeon, I'm going through this wall, boom, now there's a door, or hey, giant cliff, eh, the whole party can levitate now. Shit like that, spider climb, rope trick, super fun, hamburger stoner, welcome. Harness the sanctity of the Forge Fire Fen and you can win. I can burn him with fire! He can cast Burning Arc and Controlled Fireball? And Greater Polymorph on himself. Is, he t is his Polymorph forms also locusts? What if I burn him first? Man, this fight's kind of suck compared to the last one. What level are you? Level 18 is you? You're not even mythic! Man, if this were Tabletop Mythic, he'd be dead. Because at Tabletop Mythic, you get a lot of bullshit that only other Mythic creatures are really good at resisting. He's definitely not going to be a combatant, right? He is a Transmuter Wizard. And with enough Polymorph garbage, he could actually be a good melee combatant. 500. What's your touch AC? 21. Oof. Fifteen strength. If I hit him with enough racking rays, he just dies. Twenty-four points of dexterity and strength damage per three caster levels. Three, six, nine, twelve. That would be four D four. Four, eight, twelve, fifteen. If I roll, uh, if I roll all fours, he immediately dies. Which would be hilarious. But I also have to hit him, and I think uh, Ember's touch. Spell touch is, yeah, 13. So she'd have to roll an 11 or higher? That's not terrible. 
I don't see if I have anything else I want to do, because... He might be a swarm, technically, but he doesn't have total physical immunity like a swarm. So, like, the bulk of my damage is just going to come from Kagrim going up and vital striking his butt twice. Unless he does something fancy. If he, like, polymorphs into a giant T-Rex, even better, because all his ACs are going to go down. Uh, fuck it. Why not? Right, he has mirror image. That's why I can't do that. Oops. Lan, feel free to take care of that. Thank you. Wow, he actually hit one. Well, it was a fun thought. Ah, more demons. Wait a minute, how do those demons outside teleport if I'm within the range of the anti-teleport banner? Shenanigans! Game developers, shenanigans! How did they teleport from this side of the bridge if I'm within the banner range? I should have been able to fight them all as a huge mob of like 40 demons, then just go, Phantasmal Web. Pit. Win. Lame. Out of my face. Hello. Wait, did he fail that? <laughs> uh... Oh my god, why does Nenio get to go twice? Oh, because it's a surprise round thing, right? Weird that she goes last and then first. Uh, he is immune to death, and I don't have another web, sadly. But what do I have is Hellfire Ray, which he still has... He still has two mirror images, so we'll just Hellfire Ray this guy. Or she can roll a one. That also works, too. <laughs> So much for a boss fight! <laughs> Does that make him count as helpless? Oh my god, he fell asleep? I can just coup de gras him! Wait, after each round of a server falls asleep. Yeah, save or faint or fall asleep. I'm just gonna coup de gras him and one shot his ass. What's his fortitude save? 13! Am I gonna one-shot another boss? He does have mirror images. Mirror images is based on armor class, and he loses, yeah, a shitload. For being prone and asleep. Done with you. Nice. Hold up. Hang on. One sniggity diggity minute. Can't believe he's not immune to sleep. I hope I don't miss. I would love to one shot him. Here he goes. Phantasmal putrefaction is disgusting. What? Uh. Apparently, if he has elemental body, he is immune to it. You have elemental body? What just happened? Are you not asleep anymore? You're asleep. Why can't I coup de gras you? Oh, because he's immune to precision damage. And critical hits. And coup de gras is an automatic crit. Darn it! Oh well, I can still vital strike him on the floor, right? Actually, let's move over here. We'll vital strike these two guys, and then they'll die. I'll get a um, finishing cleave and a finishing cleave. And because this game is coded horribly with uh, finishing cleave, not the game's coded horribly, although some of it's pretty frustrating. There are a couple of weird bugs. Um, so it does vital strike wrong. Or no, it does... Um, it, it does the combination of Vital Strike and Finishing Cleave wrong. I assume when it does a Vital Strike in this game, 
all it does is turn your attacks from four to one and then amplify the damage times four. The problem is when you do finishing cleave, when you kill something, you get an immediate free attack, uh, a free single attack on something else nearby. Problem with this game is it doesn't revert the vital strike damage change before it calculates finishing cleave. So I just get three full vital strikes if all of these hit. When normally uh, finishing cleave is one normal attack not counting vi Vital Strike in normal Pathfinder. But for whatever way it calculates it in this game, which is what I think that it is, that's how I think it does it, is it just, rather than like having a special attack that's a Vital Strike or a greater or an improved Vital Strike, what it does is it just strips all your other attacks and multiplies your damage. I missed! It's okay, he's asleep for a minute. We can wait. One, two. Wait. Stretch. Yeah, mid. Was there another shear over here? Hit. 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 Why did I do three damage? Distorted Mythic Shear. That guy. Oh! Wait, what? No, it's one of the distorted ones. So it killed him, hit the dredge, and then killed him a second time? Because he does that weird resurrection shit. Right? Weird. So, the re so him being invulnerable until he resurrects for being a distorted mythic creature doesn't apply until after my vital strike applies. But the second life applies, because normally you can't target it until it resurrects. But it hit him, hit the dredge, and then hit him again. So I don't know why I didn't get a free attack on Xanther. He might be slightly out of range, because the yellow circle means jack shit. No! Shadow Demon, why? Buddy, I have that. Now he's got his touch AC back. Damn you! Why? You have ruined the plan. I was still gonna vital strike his bitch ass. Oh well. Raybor can destroy the shit out of him. Oh god, you have such large AC now. Yeah, that. It's supposed to do that. But it didn't. It just immediately died again. Cause reasons? Gave is coded so funkily. Like, it's not coded badly, but there's, like, some weird, like, calculations that don't happen before other calculations that should happen before other calculations, like finishing cleave and vital strike and being able to cleave that guy before he resurrects when normally you can't target it again or attack it when it's technically dead before it resurrects the second time. Some garbage. Nice. Alright, that's my two hit. 27, so I need to roll a not a two. Final strike. Fucking concealment. Go, hot shadowy demon, kill. Bye. Hey, suddenly a pillar. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> He's technically asleep again. Ah, oh, he's vomited out bugs. Do those actually exist? Or is that just an effect? No glory without risk. 
His swarm of locusts is leaving. Go, Nibbles! Kill! Oh, okay. I guess I'll do it. Battle strike! God! Wait, that actually worked. Why do you get plot armor? Screw up. Oh, there he goes. Oh, shit. Oh, phase two. Nenio is fucked. Wait, what? I can't You're target the other ones. Oh, they have to enter the combat. They technically haven't spawned yet. Into the fray, huh? Yeah, this game was not built for turn-based mode, but the turn-based mode is mint. And now the real fight. Not if they group up like that. Oh, my Durgan! Oh, I guess Ember is at, down for the count, so... Yes, if they group up like that. Sorry, guys! It's worth it. Oh, this is gonna be so fucking annoying. These things have 150 health. They're immune to pretty much everything I have. It's like Greybor is gonna be the only one doing damage, and maybe Sheila. How much haste do we have left? 55 seconds, that is plenty. Shout might be okay as long as I don't hit Greybor. Uh, doesn't do a lot of damage. Oh, yes! Ember's back up. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. All I got to do is move her, like, here, and then Fire Snake. Yes! Fire Snake! And Lon can't do any damage. You need elemental damage. And I have none. Oh my god. Luckily, I don't think these have... Uh, yeah, these aren't the... Demon. Unknown key. Oh no, it's my IP address! Damn you, Pathfinder! Damn you! <laughs> yeah, these are the demon swarm ones that, like, confuse you and stun you if you're in the swarm. They're just normal basic swarm things. Simply business. I'm all right. I'm all right. Billy, I'll be fine. Don't die. Touch yourself. Stay alive. Take you. I think I just need Ember to go again. Yeah, no, some of them have pretty okay HP. Shadow Demon has elemental damage, or he just won't go. Okay. This'll work. Not well, but it'll work. And you can just hang out. And I can just hang out. This is a Greybor fight. It's your and Ember. You're in my way. Five foot step. And Sheila. Sheila can do damage. Once. And in ones. And I guess he can stun people. They just aren't. Scream! Hey, what the fuck? We killed you! Did you get smaller?
think he got smaller. Oh no, it's just Grey Bar's massive. Make every strike count. What are you doing? We killed you. Now you have heroism and fast healing 20 and divine power. Go, demon. Yay, you're actually doing something. Uh, Nanyo, you can't do anything, so like, just hobble over here. We're still in pretty good shape. Although Nanyo and Sheila got fucked up by the swarm. And he doesn't have... ...here image anymore. I'm gonna have you heal with a potion, because I don't want to risk you dying at this point. Nice, 12. You still have Bless on? Yes. What's this? Stunning Barrier. Uh-huh. I don't want to risk her dying just because of some crit fluke and having to reset the fight. You have less armor now? Yeah! Look! He's so much weaker. And so vulnerable to fire. Except he still has concealment, because fuck me. Oh, ew, what is that? Oh, he's a shambling mound! Cute. And it still has concealment. Better not be able to turn into another swarm. Like, hey, you gotta fight him as strong, and then you gotta fight his swarm, and then you gotta fight him as weaker, then you gotta fight the swarm again, and then you gotta fight him again, and then finally, you can fight the last set of swarms. Ah! That would suck. Daniel, yeah, yeah you, you're, you're still hanging out. Okay. Nibble dragon. What do you mean 460 healing? Defeated, Xanthir drops to his knees. For a few drawn out seconds, all you can hear is the rustling of locusts shifting under his rib. Sounds slowly morphing into a rasping, unnatural laughter. I like these torches. They're cool looking. They're like a cool stream of magical sparks and or piss. Who could have predicted that a vandal, my enemy, and the enemy of my masters would be the one to rid me of my excruciating servitude? You are an unforeseen, unknown quantity that has solved the impossible equation. Get fucked, Nanio! I solved the puzzle! Such an elegantly simple solution to all my problems. What, you mean get the shit kicked out of you until your gods forsake you? You're gonna have to die as die as quickly as it came. Xanthu lifts his head and looks out at you from his locust sword face. You have earned a reward. I know that you are here and what you seek. Why you are here, why you are seek. You destroyed my laboratory, stood in the way of science, and halted the demon transformation experiments. But I doubt you know the source of Nahedrian crystals necessary for the process. I will show you the path to the truth, Vandal, but first you must answer two of my questions three. Starting for his life has started, typical and familiar. The first question will be, can I walk out of here alive? And the second will be, how much are you willing to pay him to turn traitor? Is that right? Incorrect. Putting my time in such a manner would be irritating and counterproductive. I'm simply willing to converse with you, and you, if you make even the slightest pretense of being worthy interlocutors. You learn something useful from what I am to say. What of it? I feel utter indifference to everything that happens after my death. Why do you think I'll believe you? Because it is the logical thing to do. What motive do I have for concealing information that you will inevitably learn from the notes scattered around my laboratory? Furthermore, I would very much like to see your face as enlightenment dawns. Can we not do this staring at the dick of this dude? That of my intellect is foolish. If you already knew the truth, you would have directed your efforts to destroying my supply routes, not breaking into my laboratory. Eh, I mean, cut off the snake at the head. Ask your questions. In the location of my laboratory before I was forced to recoat to the Albergate Sanctum. It was Kenabras, right? Or Dresden. Right? 
Correct. Yeah, because he got he fled from Dresden to here when I took it back. Not with the help of the angels that conveniently have showed up now after all the big fighting has been done. Did you know that or did you simply guess? It's of no cut. No, the, the buzzy lady told me before I killed the shit out of her. It's of no consequence either way. Now answer me this. Why was my laboratory located there specifically? Why was Dresden showed up for its residence in the world room? That's where the crystals come from, right? Because it has a stunning mountain view. That's where the crystals were being sent, I guess, or where they come from. A sweet moment of inside, the moment when the final layers shrouding the mystery suddenly fall away. Okay. If they came from there, that'd be one thing. If they're being sent there, you just reroute to here. So why the fuck do I care? Looks about Xanthus hood sure up in de derisively. I've been acquiring and continue to acquire Nahindorian crystals from the rift in the Midnight Fane. Trine located deep below Dresden. So that's not where they're being sent. That's where they're from. This is wrong. The Ender Zoo is located right in the heart of the city. It's sealed by a barrier created by Irilu herself. Later disguised as a symbol of your own precious Ayomade. What's it like to realize that the enemy has all this time been concealed in the vowels of your very own fort? Just don't bother answering it. It's a rhetorical question. Alright, well thanks. I'm gonna go kill them all now. Let us finish this vandal and my existence and free me from my burden of carrying out orders of idiot masters and offering my eyes with the sight of feckless followers. What is the Midnight Fane? Your new year is worth lingering in this world. A surprising incomprehensible phenomenon. I regret I will not be able to study it under laboratory conditions. Deep below Dresden, where the power of the Sword of Valar cannot reach, is a place where the Abyss and the Material Plane meet. It's where Lady Arilu opened one of her rifts, creating a direct route to the Abyss, and that's where the crystals are coming from. The rift leads to, I suppose I won't spoil the surprise, I mean, the Abyss. You do love surprises, after all. Why didn't the demons attack Dresden from the inside if they had access? Should an attack reveal the secret of the Midnight Fane of the Crusaders? It has no right to fail. Unfortunately, you impressed Darazan so much that during the battle for Dresden that he lost all courage. I'm sure you will meet him in the Fane, aggrandizing himself at the expense of whoever happens to be around. What a laughing stock. However, sooner related, he would certainly try to attract Dresden from the inside. He's more afraid of Descari than you. What are the blah 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 crystal? Special keys that can, with, prop, with proper handling and tedious ritual, awaken mythic powers in a demon. Process was discovered and developed by the great Arilu Voresh, my mentor. She calls it transformation. She is very unoriginal. Those who have undergone it are called mythic demons, for their purpose is truly to be glorified in myth. Who are you? Or should I answer even your questions? Or should I even answer your questions? If I stave off my final transition into blissful oblivion, and there cocks his head from side to side. I'll answer you, but only out of my own curiosity. I want to see what intrigues a lowly creature such as herself. I'm a higher being. I surpassed my mortal shell and discarded it. Transformed myself into like a larva becoming a locust. Like several hundred of them. My loyal service to the Dark Arts has not gone unrewarded. Lord Bathamay and Discari both gave you their consideration. I earn respect on the side of the world wound. And the only person whose respect I have not won is my mentor, Arilu. That is all that is permissible for you to know. Are you eager to die? Have you seen my underlings? My so-called students? What, I ask you, can they hope to learn from me? Buffoons! That is what they are. Pathetic parody of scholarly devotes, uh, devotion. They hear my words, but they do not understand them. Mindless fanatics and cultists. Idiots besieging me with their endless questions. Killing them is pointless. I cannot banish them or use the, them as test subjects, because as soon as one dies, two more sprout in their place! The demons I am forced to work with, they're unbearable. They're unable to fulfill even the simplest of instructions. And their tiny minds can all their tiny minds can think about is how to chew one another to pieces. Darazan, Minago, Jerabeth, they all started plotting against me as soon as I took up my post. How might I work under these conditions? I am surrounded by utter morons. My only ambition has been to study the scientists and discover secret tooths. But instead I have been obliged to make to manage a herd of brainless aminals. I found myself at a dead end. I cannot abandon everything and leave. I will only be exchanging life in this unbearable place for life among nameless ruins, constantly aware of my former masters could find me at any ex an exact retribution. 
I could hardly continue my work without my laboratory. You have to give me a way out, Vandal. You have given me a way out, Vandal. A place where only peace awaits me. Where I will have no students or masters. Death! I am tired. How did you achieve this state? Ding. I won't be telling you anything. I'm not spending years conducting research, carrying out experiments, and studying forbidden texture to give it all away to some vandal. Sacrifices I have made, impossible truth my mind had to encompass. Discarious philosophy, Baphomet, sophistry, Areshkals, riddles, the nebulous ravings of lesser known demons such as Isia, such as Lasagna. You've probably never even heard these names before. I've heard all but Lasagna. It's enough that you have managed to get your hands on my notes. They say there's no king's road to knowledge, but for vandals, there's no, there isn't so much as a dirt track. If you want to achieve what I have, follow the path I take every single step. What's well, a lot of questions. We already know enough about this freak to destroy him once and for all. It's the best thing for everyone if knowledge of how he came like this died with him. So I do know from reading the patch notes that you can become a worm that walks and like, I guess, exchange one of your starter mythic paths for that. Because that's what I was wondering when I saw them. Because the mythic pass there, there was a couple that are hidden. I know there's a gold dragon and a worm that walks path. Just because I read that in the patch notes. How I get them? Fuck if I know. What's it like being a swarm? It's impossible to explain to someone who has not made the same exalted journey. Endless bliss, endless splendor, endless solitude among the lower creatures. There is no one who can understand me now. What do you know about Arilu? She is my mentor. Although she has never given me the slightest recognition, it was I who invented the method for transforming, uh, transforming demons using the Nahamidan crystals. She is the best of all humans and demons, a true scientist, pioneer, architect of the world mode, and it's ironic that both of the Abyss's finest scientific minds were mortal once, isn't it? She is a true scientist, says Nenio, delirious in the corner. I wholeheartedly agree with every word the swarm says. Oh, he's going to praise there, friend. Alia is a criminal for whichever way you slice it. And you, your gushing compliments about her puts you on the same level. It doesn't make her a criminal. It makes her dumb. The same level as Arilu, one of her devoted followers. Oh, what a lovely thing to say. Thank you. And Nenio's descent into evil begins. I do wonder that. Like, there are a couple dialogue choices. And, like, if you look at, for instance, Sheila's, like, little biography she has, it mentions, like... The opera, like, it, it mentions, like, whether, will she remain a devout paladin, or will she, her, blah, 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 be her undoing? So I wonder if you're an evil character, if you can corrupt your followers. Like, if you can make Sheila fall, you can turn her into, like, a knowledge-hungry weirdo that's evil. And a couple of other things. Or, like, um, you can turn the soft boy cleric man into... Like a ravenous murder monster and stuff like that. Because all these characters have flaws that technically could be exploited into them turning evil and going down dark paths. And it seems like the game kind of hints at that. But I'm not sure if that's, you know, just uh, our character has flaws and that makes them a better character, which it does. Or if it's like, you know, possible to, to whole hog go down that path. Or maybe it was planned, but it got cut or something. Can you tell me about Jerabeth? Troublesome Nadu thinks herself the queen of this dung heap. She hates me for usurping her sanctum. But she doesn't dare go against the orders of Baphomet and his daughter Hazamara. Hebzumira. Jerabeth is an unknown quantity and a negligible one at that. Well, she's dead now. Goodbye. Farewell, Vandal. I would thank you if I hated you any less than my master. May Baphomet and Discari burn, and may you burn with them. Here he goes. That's all that left is like this weird little worm thing. What you got, buddy? Fancy stuff. And a book! Old Grimara grants its owner three slots for level... One, yeah. Three first level spell slots, two first level spell slot or second level spell slots, and two third level spell slots. Cool. Do I just use it? Yeah, it says usable item, so I get free spell slots. And I'm assuming an intellect band. One moment. We're getting there. One sec. I could just look at my inventory, but I refuse. We'll be there any moment. I miss my old mouse where I could press a button and it would unlock the mouse wheel. And I could just... Vroom. 
Can I just click the sidebar here? Okay, I can. Drag. Yeah, fast intelligence plus six. Nice. Yoink. Read your chat more. I'm sorry, I was reading a lot of dialogue. I can only read one thing at a time. Uh, I had to ask at what point is having him have blur active. He's a swarm that walks. I'm assuming they are close enough. They're not like a flying swarm that's flying around. They have some sort of like solid form to them, even if it is a bunch of small things making up a solid form. So that's why he doesn't get like total immunity to anything that's not AoE and such. Unlike most bosses, he is a mere human. No, he is a bunch of worms and gross. I know how to get the sword that walks, and you already failed it probably. I'm not going to get it. Like, not in this run, but I just thought that was kind of cool. I don't think you can turn Sheila into a fallen. She's an iconic. Ah, lame. Yeah, because if you look at her, um... Will this become Sheila's weakness, leading her to ultimate ruin? That right there... Makes me think that you could, like, exploit her and get her to turn evil or something if you were an evil character. Which would be cool. And then, um... The other character... Uh, the other black person in the party... That's the best... I don't remember his name! He's the, he's the cleric of Desna. He's the only other black dude. <laughs> and I forget him, but he has a horrible rage problem. <laughs> and um, that's another thing I think you could maybe exploit to turn the, a good character evil. But maybe it's just for, you know, character background and flavor and whatnot. I need to go back and finish all the rooms in the Ivory Sanctum, too. But we will have to do that next time, for after I am done looting this place, I need to switch over to Dwarf. Ooh. Touch of Mercy. Is this a great sword? It looks like a falchion. Not a great sword. I don't think I care. Hey, it actually saves my filter. Uh, is it this? No. Two-headed falchion. Ugh. Ah, it's plus four, too. Great sword. I need great swords. One of this plus four bleed falchion confirms a critical hit on an already bleeding enemy. It instantly dies if it's below 80 HP. It also inflicts bleed. Makes the target bleed for 1d6 per round. The bleeding will continue until morale improves. Until magic con or healing or combat. That'd be really freaking nice if it were a great sword. Are we ready to move out? Uh, shiny. Here you go. More spell slots. Do I give the old grimoire to her? Oh, it's an equipable. Or it's not an equipable. You put it on the bar here and you get its stuff. So I put it here, and do you get extra spell slots? Yeah, yeah you do. Cool. Do I want to use that on her? I don't think so. I want to use that on Crispy Elf, because that'll give her more Fingers of Flame, and I haven't used this yet. So then that gives her, yeah, 15, 14. That does affect her, right? It's not like a prep caster only thing. Yeah, nah. Cool. That's actually super freaking good. Because that gives her what? I guess more casts of Cure Light Wounds. I don't really use anything other than Reduce Person and Large Wounds here. In combat, though, I'm thinking three or two more casts of Scorching Ray or Burning Arc is really good. Uh, two more casts of Cure Wounds is pretty all right. I need to get her a offensive third level spell, but I don't think there is one that's fire. 
at least not that I've seen. We can check when she levels up next, which is relatively close, relative to the not being close. Does anybody not have a belt? You have your fancy shadow demon belt, and you want to keep that. Yeah, this takes me back to the rest of the sanctum, so we can go and get the rest of it. Fancy. His notes. Everything bug that I've recovered there has been blah 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 Conspect magical prophecies divided several days, telepathy, yada yada yada, parasitism, symbiosis, flesh, trepanation, extremely did you fucking cut a hole in your skull? Anyway, I control the insects directly with my own will. Bypassing conscious thought entirely. Parasitism, symbiosis, ten subject skin gradually ingested and replaced by the swarm. Result failure. How do I stop them from eating through the tissue? What is flesh? What body parts? Planting larvae in the fatty tissues under the effect of indecipherable. The test subjects report pain when the hatching insects pierce through. Next step is to test it on myself. Gradual amputation of the left hand, phalanx by phalanx, focus on phantom pain. Success, the locusts are taking the form of fingers. Locusts are still not completely responsible to my will, but enough of I able to write this in a new hand. To write this with my new hands. Problem is the brain. Dispersed cognition, removing consciousness to the astral plane. The test subject retains awareness when locusts replace up to two thirds of the brain. Vision, unusual effect, extremely itchy scalp. Gross. So he just like did magical experiments. I thought a worm that walked was you, you had to, uh, oh hi Lan. It was like made a deal with an outer realms, like horrible eldritch abomination thing this experiment for the knowledge of it. Or maybe that is, maybe, maybe. Maybe it doesn't turn you into what itself through magic means. It just gives you the knowledge to turn yourself. It sounds like Eldritch Abomination from Beyond the Stars things. It's like, yeah, you gotta do it yourself, but here's some fancy smarts. There's a tier three fire spell. It's called Fireball. Oh. This hypothesis requires its own experiment. I need a bucket. Witches don't learn fireball, they barely learn burning hands only. The only reason she has fire spells is because she has the black and curse. Yup, I wish it gave her fireball, but I guess maybe fireball's a little bit too good for the oracle curse freebies. There is a ring I can buy that gives her fireball and controlled fireball. But I would have to replace her extra fire damage ring or her competence bonus on a touch attacks. And I don't think I want to get rid of the competence bonus on touch attacks. Because her with Scorching Ray is sexy as fuck. Because the uh, extra 1d6 plus fire is per ray. So it's 3d6 plus 15 if they all hit. Yeah, I think her hat does something too. I like you. Charisma, head better charisma plus 4. She, oh, she gets 10 temp HP. Yeah, that's alright. The way is fire call for the next round. Any spells cast by the way, if it does any damage, do a plus two dice damage. That'd be interesting to have on a cryomancer type character, coupled with Graybor's white dragon thing, because they would always take 2d6 cold damage. And then, I don't know, you can't get the mythic thing that lets you turn one element into another, but that would be interesting to turn Scorching Ray into like freezing rays. And then do a bam, 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 cold damage, which is only plus two, and then the fire ring is ten times better already, so. Yeah, that's one thing that Pathfinder has a, um, a slight problem with, is all, like, like, I want to say, like, 70 or maybe 70 to 80 percent of all damaging elemental spells are fire. And only fire. So making a Pyromancer is fuck off easy, but the only way you could really make a, uh... Like any of the other, like an Electromancer, a, py a uh, Cryomancer, or whatever the fuck the acid would be called, is to take the, uh, is to be a wizard, 
take evocation focus or the evocation school and then there's an ability in the wizard's evocation school that lets you change any one of the four core elements of a spell into any one of the other four core elements of the spell, but it's only a certain number of times per day. There's also a mythic ability that lets you pop a mythic pool point, which doesn't exist in this game because mythic pool points aren't a thing in this game, but in tabletop they are, to uh, do the same, which you can turn any electric fire cold acid spell into one of the other four. Uh, but yeah, like other than that, there are just so many overabundant fire spells. Although, I'm sure if you discuss with your DM, you could easily say, Hey, can I just take, you know, Scorching Ray, but it's electric instead of normal Scorching Ray. And then if they also want to take Scorching Ray, they have to take it separately. I'm sure you could run that by your DM because there is a there's custom spell creation rules in Pathfinder that are literally it's like a point by system but for spells so like just changing one element to the other is probably super simple although there is some minor balance uh, minor balance thing to take into consideration which is that the most commonly resisted element for all monsters and all creatures within the game is fire so maybe that makes the 70 percent of evocation spells that deal ele elemental damage being fire like a um not even that deal elemental damage that just deal damage period um maybe that's why so many of them deal fire damage or maybe it's just the devs went yeah fire fire hurts where do you do a lot of fire like i don't know Personally, if I were a DM and somebody said, hey, I want to be a cryomancer, but there's like snowball, ray of frost, cone of cold, uh, ice storm, and like two others, maybe three or four others throughout the entire level one through ninth that are cold damage. While there's 30 fire damage. If somebody says, hey, can I just convert the fire damage spells? Can I just take them as a uh, cold or electric damage variant? I'd say, sure, fucking go for it. Although, um... If there's already an other elemental variant, I'd say take that instead. Like, uh... Scintillating Sphere is just fireball... But electric... Um, there is a fire variant of Ice Storm. Scorching Ray of different elements exist. I was just thinking of that. There's some fire spell that has an alternate that's cold, and it might be Scorching Ray, and it might be like Polar Rays. Oh, I think Polar Ray is its own thing. Hang on. Let me look. Pathfinder. Wizard spells. Your search for P opening bracket... F Immunda 3E Rysard Spell did not match any documents. That's because my giant Neanderthal hands fucked that up. Pathfinder Wizard Spells. There are a lot of third party spells that do that too. That are just of a different. It's the one. A spell of a different element. Scorching. Searching Ray. No, not scoring Ray. Blah. Huh. Uh. There's Ice Slick. It doesn't deal any damage, though. Frigid Touch. Frost Fall doesn't deal any damage. Elemental touch, technically, but that's a melee touch attack, and get fucked if you're a wizard using a melee touch attack. Burning arc, aggressive thundercloud is cool for the electricity damage. Uh, I always like admonishing Ray. That does. Yeah, that's. Is that what you're talking about? Admonishing Ray. Admonishing Ray is just scorching Ray, but non-lethal. I guess force damage. When it's six points of non-lethal damage, this is a force effect, so force damage. 
Burning Gaze is a fire one that's not in the game here. Defensive Shock that requires you to get wrecked first. Yeah, Polar Ray is a higher power spell. I don't know, I'd just call it Greater Ray of Frost and have it just be Scorching Ray, but... Cold. Ranged. Dutch. Snowball, Acid Arrow, Scorching Ray, Force Anchor, Gloombind Bolt, Umbral Strike, Polar Ray! That's the big, that's the big ice one. What level is that? Eighth level, yeah. Twenty five D six at max and one D four Dex drain. Stormbolt, yeah, you get you get some cool, like you get some cool damaging non fire spells at higher level, but like the lower level fire spell or damaging spells are a lot of fire. And, like, the occasional scattered of other things. Like, it's really hard to focus into an element that is not fire without some... Flexibility with your DM. Pathfinder. Third-party wizard spells. I'm sure there's a shitload of third-party spells that are just like, Yeah! Shit's good! Oh, yeah. They're even organized nicely. Lesser Dispel Knight. Let's see what we got here. Evocation, third-party wizard spells. Yeah, Burning Arc, but it's electricity. Caustic Cloud, but it's uh, acid instead of electricity. A better magic missile. Whatever the chain lightning little leapy thing is, but it's fucking uh, non-lethal damage, apparently. Pressure spray is non-lethal. That's level one spells. Like, these all seem pretty good. Level two evocation. Acid salt. Interesting. Fills a 30-foot wide area with acidic salt. That sounds painful. Not a lot for second level stuff. Unless Undertow is just like a really good damaging thing because it doesn't have a fucking description and I can't tell. Third level! Spit acid and blind a target. 20 foot radius cold sphere. That damages targets. Imbue ammunition with fire. Throw an object that explodes. Magic weapon, but it's with a different enchantment that's not plus one. I'm not saying non-fire fire fingers, though. I know I saw it somewhere, but yeah. Anyways, it is far past nine o'clock, and I need to switch over to a different game 40 minutes ago. So I will be right back with more Dwarven Legend of Zelda, also known as Dwerve. It's also a tower defense game, which is really, really fun. Maybe again, just for good measure. I will return shortly. I'm going to go to the bathroom and, like, grab a slice of watermelon or something. Just search Scorching Ray Frost. Ethender. Scorching Ray Frost. Cheese ball optimization advice.
I also wrote crotching ray. Whoops. Uh... All I'm saying is Scorching Ray and Ray of Frost, which is the 1d4 garbage cantrip. Anyways, I have to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. Let me get you some music up. Da -da 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 -da. YouTube! RuneScape! Endemize. Boom. Right back! 